Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I have a love and hate relationship with a Windows Media Player, having been a Microsoft MVP for Windows Media um, for a few years, and I didn't get my MVP status renewed, largely because I told them everything that was wrong with the product in the hopes that they would improve it. Instead, they took my constructive criticism as being not positive. <clears throat> considering that I told them to integrate support for RSS back in Windows Media Player 9. That would have effectively made Microsoft the first podcasting client on the planet. They ignored me. Well, we all know that uh, Microsoft is still largely ignoring the phenomenon known as podcast. Apple, however, well, enough said. We had a user send me an email. User makes him sound like an addict of some kind. Well, I guess we all are kind of addicts to this technology thing. Frank Smith writes in, I have a newer Sony Vio with XP. Came with Media Player. Recently got a message to upgrade that. Once I did, the file windows in the library are in picture format with icons and are super hard to navigate. I use this as a DJ. How do I get back to the older version so I can easily navigate my files? I don't need to see all those CD covers. They suck. Well, <clears throat> if you'd stop collecting the Carpenters albums, maybe they wouldn't suck so much. Well, musical taste aside, uh, let me show you how I think we can solve your problem. I've got Windows Media Player 11 up here. It's inside of Windows Vista, but of course Windows Media Player 11 is also available for Windows XP. And I'm in the library view. You just click the little library link right there at the top. You'll be able to flip to the tab and you'll be able to see all the albums that are sitting there on your computer. And yes, there are icons right here. But if you look at the little search box right next to it, right to the left, is an icon in the toolbar with four little color icons in it. If you click that, you can change the view of your library. So right now, by default here, it's icon, but I can choose details, which is the last item in the list. And when I do, the icons disappear, and that view is most likely what you are most used to. And from here, I can choose to sort by album, album artist, genre, release year, etc., etc., etc. And to do that, to sort in different ways, all you have to do is at the top, where you see the, the types of columns, you just click that and then you'll see a little up arrow or down arrow depending on how you toggle that and then you'd be able to sort by that particular column. Uh, the nice thing about this is, is I can always go back to the album view if I want to or to go to a tile view uh, which allows kind of for, for both bits of information not just the icon or album art but uh, the, you know extended album details as well. If you want to change the columns that are available here inside of Windows uh, media player just right click on one of those column headers and choose choose columns that's an option there in the menu and from there you can add and remove columns so you can make that view exactly the way you want it to be no album art at all uh you know i'm unless of course you know you want that in which case well then you just ignore me at your you have album art of the Carpenters inside of Windows Media Player 11. Hackers can get into your machine and totally pwn you. I, I'm kidding, I, I, I can't back up that. Um, yeah, I think uh, I have ADHD at this point. That's attention deficit, high definition. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> anyway, if you have a better way of managing media files on your computer, whether it's on OS X, Linux, or Windows and you don't want to use Windows Media Player or iTunes or any other popular program or maybe you do like another popular program that nobody else talks about. Well, in which case it really wouldn't be a popular program. Well, anyway, leave a comment, suggestion, some feedback. Uh, we're always into looking for new products that are out there on the landscape of media management software. Or of course, you know, you're welcome to swing by the website. Uh, we're here 24 hours a day. All the podcasts of ours are archived at media.perillo.com and Yes, if you haven't figured it out by now, we're here chatting. Well, they are right now. I'm talking. They're typing it in really free, furiously. Live.perillo.com. Will you later.